Hello everybody, it is uh, July 12th, 2020 right now and the next pepper that we would like to show and give a try to is the, I believe it's pronounced Rezha, it's R-E-Z-H-A, Macedonia and it's a, um, a pepper that was grown in Macedonia for 100 plus years and it's a really pungent kind of uh, cooking pepper is what me and Angel have kind of liked it for. We grew it our first time last year and got a few of these. But uh, Reza stands for engraved, so it's Macedonian engraved and it has a lot of corking on it. Its actual feature is a part of this corking. This corking starts when it very first starts to come out. You'll see the corking and the more, um, that's the lines of the striations. That's where it gets the Reza name. It means engraved. But it's supposed to have the heat of around a jalapeno, about five to 15,000 Scoville units. And out of uh, a lot of the peppers, this is one of the types that you would expect to have that range fluctuate a lot. So we could get a pepper that could be seven or 8,000 right now. We could get one that could be 12 or 13,000. Um, 8,000 is the Scoville units that they usually mark this type of pepper for. But all around a jalapeno, sort of style pepper it's known for its pungency we're expecting a thunder heat from this one um, one that would be used for green salsas and green sauces um, some spicy foods like that it does when it ripens it changes to like a rust red color and then um, to a, um, like an orange red when it's fully ripened we'll go ahead and get some of these off here real quick it's really a larger style uh, green chili pepper. This one, they do get uh, red, but it can take a little while for it to ripen. What we decided to do is, rather than hesitate this year, we're trying to get the peppers off as green. We'll go ahead and give them all a shot like that. And then near the end of the year, all the ones that we can gather together ripen, we'll have uh, a taste test in all of them to kind of determine the difference between green peppers and uh, ripened peppers as well. But the Res Macedonia, really excited about this one. Um, We'll take this inside and we will see how hot it is. Love you guys. So this pepper here, me and Angel, the jalapeno, this style of pepper, um, the five color hots have a really uh, thunderous heat to it. We rate heat, lightning, and thunder. Lightning's the ori uh, original like hot that a lot of times can fade away really, really quick, and the thunders like to linger. Um, I have a harder time with the jalapeno, almost as hard of a time with the jalapeno as I would say a habanero, just because, well, habaneros actually have quite a bit of thunder too, but just because of the, the linger heat. I don't know if it's our body types or our personal preference or what it is. Um, this one right here can get more pungent from what I understand. We are not really familiar with these. We only had about five to ten of these last year come off of our plants and we never really utilized them much. Um, so this one right here might be a little bit of a different grow. Um, the striations or the engraving that happens on it can also um, make the texture or the skin of the pepper um, a little bit crunchy or hard so they're better for boiling. As far as cooking purposes, um, my idea would be the, uh, the best idea I would have personally for this would be to like say maybe cook a big pot of chili and if you put peppers in it make sure they're sweet peppers and then you could take these they almost look like uh, demon horns maybe. <laughs> You could take these and cut these and put those, just drop the whole thing in the chili, let it cook around, and then anybody at the old family reunion that wants to show that they can handle the heat can actually pull one of these peppers out, one of these horns out of the demon horn chili and give it a try. But it's one of those really, really pungent peppers. I would guess to um, ripened and dried, it would provide a whole bunch of uh, really, really kind of a strong powder in a sense and also boiled and uh, roasted you could scrape the green out of it to make like a green pepper paste or something along those lines but uh, more along the, the uses of you would say possibly a jalapeno what we've been doing with the first wave of all of our peppers though here 
uh, regardless of their best use is we've been just kind of getting them straight to pickling until we can get some of these tomatoes going and interweave them for some different salsas and sauces and stuff. But this is the Reza Macedonia and we find uh, a really nice one. We'll probably dice this one up into pieces. It stands for engraved because of the corking and striations. You should always wear gloves, but especially if you're scared of the pepper. That's uh, very, very important too. There is a lot of really good seeds in here, and I can smell the the heat or the green smell. Yeah, it smells like some heat. So we was, uh, suggest that anything that we talk about in our videos and stuff like that, you research yourselves. We are here to kind of share our personal experiences with friends and family and not necessarily be any sort of kind of tutor, just maybe a, a friendly personal reference on some of this stuff and our personal opinion. I usually try to get from the very end. The walls are thick, but they also have like some sort of like branching or pushing into them. So I could see how fully ripened this would be a really more thick, like a jalapeno thick style of pepper. And I also, I also hear these are pretty good for roasting. I haven't heard a lot about these and know a lot of people that have tried these, but... Alright. That's a big piece. And it still has a few seeds to clear down near the bottom and lots of pith through the whole entire thing all the way out till the bottom. They can range from really low heat to really high heat, and by really low to really high, that's 5,000 Scoville to about 15,000. So would you imagine a mildish jalapeno all the way up to a super hot jalapeno? They sit in that range, but they have more of a degree of variation. They're one type of pepper that can be variation on the heat from pepper to pepper. That bite had absolutely no heat. Absolutely no heat in that bite. Also, with the way we grow in containers and our personal um, micro environments, things like that, we can grow a hot pepper and have it come out heatless. We can grow a hotless pepper and have it come out with tons and tons of heat just based on the grow or the proximity to other peppers. Or when we pick it. Yeah, or when we end up picking them. This one's got seed and a little bit more pith. I don't know why I pushed the boundary. <laughs> Much hotter, I'm guessing. Yeah, it was a strike of, of hot on that one. Whoa, there goes the hiccup. Do you want to try it? Do I want to try it? <laughs> if it's way down here and it's only a little piece, let me knock the seeds out of there for you. Maybe you cut that piece in half. Okay. That piece didn't have any heat. Yeah, down near the end. And that's true with... Uh, most peppers. Most peppers get hotter as they ripen and most peppers, uh, the heat is up near the pith or the, the placenta or the core stuff, the white stuff that's inside of the shell. And also the seeds will hold a lot of heat. For what I understand, the seeds aren't actually hot, but the shell on them will absorb a lot of that uh, capcasum or whatever they, however they pronounce that. But this is a uh, really, really good, excellent roasting and uh, cooking pepper, I would say. Maybe not so much a pickler. Um, similar to like maybe uh, a hot banana pepper, in a sense. Um, 
it does have that thunder. It had. I, I thought for a second it was just going to be hot for a second and then kind of go away, and it almost did. And now it's kind of building a little bit, but it's not building to a point. I would be more afraid of a hot jalapeno than I would be this pepper, but it isn't for the people who don't like spicy. If you don't like spicy, you probably won't like this one. Um, it'd be really good to flavor dishes with a green sauce or something along those lines. So we'll probably pick one like this. It's the Reza Macedonia. It stands for engraved. Um, it comes from the striations on it. And heirloom pepper, if I find a good link to history on it, I'll throw that down in the description. So it is July 12th, 2020. Um, if we're putting out a lot of videos, you see our thumbnail or you see our title and it doesn't interest you, please don't feel inclined to watch our videos. Um, we, me and Angel were talking about it. Say CB and Renee are the only person we have on our sub list. We'll make videos for them. Say Bear Fruit's the only person that watches our videos. We have one sub and it's Bear Fruit. As long as Bear Fruit watches our video, we're all good to go. We're not looking for views. We're not looking for subs. We're loving our friends. We're loving the summer, loving the garden, and um, making videos for each of you individually. So if you're here watching this, we love you. We consider you friends and honorary family members. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. So not too bad on the heat. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so the Reza Macedonia plant, here it is. It is a pretty strong plant. I would make it comparable to a jalapeno, which can grow a pretty strong plant too, um, which makes them kind of favorable productions, of course. So we had a lot of peppers on it. Um, there's a whole bunch more on there too. We kind of move it to the center of the yard and a better sunspot to kind of snap back. We usually trim down low here and put some worm casting soils in here. Um, another thing that we use to fertilize peppers and tomatoes throughout the year is we use worm castings mixed with uh, some fresh soil to kind of fill in higher. We also use fish emulsion um, every couple weeks and then alternating every couple weeks we use Epsom salt. Um, but we are also thinking about when we use the Epsom salt put, putting some of that uh, calcium nitrate with it. So using the Epsom salt and the calcium nitrate at the same time to promote the strength of the plant and the flowering um, as a double fertilizer kind of in rotation but the res macedonia really really strong plant a pungent thunder heat i was in uh is this uh impressed with the heat or thinking the heat was as strong as i was expecting it to be um, we've been almost blindsided on some of these hot peppers and we've tried them all sorts of weird shapes Really excellent plant. Um, if you're into roasting peppers, this would make a really good roaster too. A really good uh, spicy roasted pepper. So we love you guys. Reza Macedonia, July 12th, 2020. UT and Angel. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.